Hi, I'm Alvin Drew. I'm an astronaut. This is Ask NASA, and I'm here to answer your questions. So how did going into space influence you? It's a tiny, tiny little island in the middle of a great big black sea. There's no little yellow boundary line separating our countries from one another. Uh, we really are all together here on this one island in the middle of nowhere. Where can you find the best views on the International Space Station? From the cupola, far and away, the best investment we've ever made. You can just see the universe from there, short of going out on a spacewalk. <laughs> that was the best throw we've ever had, I think. <laughs> So what does it feel like in space? You're weightless, you unstrap from your seat, and you can float. Imagine being in a pool. And I'm a diver, a scuba diver, and when you get down underneath the water, you're floating. And that's just like in, in space. Egress into the water, fancy word for getting out of the vehicle. Hey, what's that on your leg? Oh, you mean these? These are actually oxygen bottles. So if we were to have to disconnect from the Orion capsule, they provide us about 30 minutes of air if an emergency was to occur on orbit. If an emergency was to occur on orbit. If an emergency was to occur on orbit. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit and we have liftoff at 213. The Saturn V building up. Hey, is that a space fanny pack under your arm? Oh, this? This is actually my life preserver unit, in case I had to jump out of Orion into the water, and into the water, and into the water, I can pull these tabs and deploy it. So everything about this spacesuit really is built for survival. The moon formed uh, many years ago when the Earth was still sort of molten, and it was hit by something about the size of Mars. And it kicked off a lot of material, and that material came to form the moon. And so we're made of the same stuff. The moon's about four and a half billion years old. It was actually formed from, from parts of the Earth, so they're about the same age. So we're there now? Absolutely we're there now. Absolutely we're there now. Absolutely we're there now. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not... Uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there. Because we didn't go there. Because we didn't go there. NASA's next spacecraft, already being built and tested across America, will do those things and more. This is the spacecraft that's going to take humans to explore uh, the solar system. It's the next big step for NASA in exploration. Called the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle, or MPCV, this next generation spacecraft will enable America to explore beyond low Earth orbit, beyond low Earth orbit, beyond low Earth orbit. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. The plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is, that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to be to destinations beyond Earth orbit, beyond Earth orbit, beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. And we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on Space Station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit, going beyond low Earth orbit, going beyond low Earth orbit. So we have a really robust exploration program at NASA. And unlike the previous program, we are setting a course with specific and achievable milestones. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit, beyond low Earth orbit, beyond low Earth orbit. 
How was it so easy to go to the moon in 1969 using this flimsy lunar module? Even more interesting, who was already on the moon filming the arrival of the module? Was it the same person who stayed back on the moon and filmed the departure of the module? Four days. Four days. Four. Mission arm is asking. Okay, I'm gonna get the pro. 99, proceeded. Three, two, one. Mission. Right that way, Houston. That's your good. Ag thought. Just wondering. And and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. Uh, money is a good thing. If you want to buy new things, new rockets, instead of keep doing the same thing over, well, then it's going to cost more money. And other things need more money too. So having achieved what the president wanted us to do, and then what thousands, millions of people in America, and millions of people around the world, you know, when we toured around the world after we came back, the most fascinating observation as we, was signs that said, we did it. Not just us, not just America, but we, the world, different country. They felt like they were part of what we were able to do. And that made us feel very good. Mm. So that's kind of the ultimate goal. Now, what will they do? Well, we have to keep interesting the people who are paying the bills, <laughs> or they won't keep paying the bills. So it has to be a growing knowledge. Why do you think going to Mars is important? It's because there's a mountain. And we want to climb the mountain and see what's on the other side. You, you, you got to see what people say and see if it's funny and then laugh. <laughs> I try and say a lot of funny things. <laughs> do you like moon pies? I do actually like moon pies. Nice moon pies and RC cola. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>